this video, I will demonstrate how to solve a problem related to balancing a reciprocating mass on shaft. First, I will draw the displacement diagram. Then I will create an angular diagram. Next, I will calculate the data in table form. Finally, I will construct couple polygon and force polygon to find the magnitude and orientation of mass A and B. Let us start with displacement diagram. The problem statement provides the distance between two cylinders are 0.7 meter and the distance between two wheels are 1.5 meter. I begin by drawing a horizontal line and mark the distance between two wheels as 1.5 meter. Next, I mark the distance between two cylinders as 0.7 meter. Hence, the distance between wheels and cylinders are 0.4 meter. From this diagram, I can see that the order of the planes are A, B, C, D. Next, I would create angular diagram. The cranks are at right angles which means the cylinder B and C are 90 degree to each other. So, I will take a plane B as horizontal plane and mark plane C 90 degree to plane B. Now, I will proceed to table to calculate force and couple values. From the displacement diagram, the order of the planes are A, B, C, D. I will mark these values on column 1. I can find mass and radius values from problem state statement. The rotating masses per cylinders are 150 kg and the reciprocating masses per cylinders are 180 kg. The actual mass equal to rotating mass plus 2 by 3 of reciprocating mass. 150 plus 2 by 3 of 180 which is equal to 270 kg. The actual mass m equal to 270 kg. The remaining mass ma and md are unknown. The cylinder has a stroke of 0.6 meter which means radius rb and rc equal to 0.3 meter. The wheel radius are ra, rd equal to 0.6 meter. I will mark these values on table. The centrifugal force is multiplication of mass and radius. Multiply column 2 and 3. MA multiplied by 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.6 MA. 270 multiplied by 0 0.3 equal to 81. 270 multiplied by 0 0.3 equal to 81. MD multiplied by 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.6 MD. The column centrifugal force has two unknown which I need to reduce it to one in couple polygon. Then only I can draw couple polygon completely. So I am going to take A as a reference plane. The distance of plane A from reference plane A is 0. The distance of plane B from reference plane A is 0.4 meter. The distance of plane C from reference plane A is 1.1 meter. The distance of plane D from reference plane A is 1.5 meter. Next, I am going to find couple which is multiplication of force and distance. 0.6 MA multiplied by 0 equal to 0. 81 multiplied by 0.4 equal to 32.4. 81 multiplied by 1.1 equal to 89.1.6 md multiplied by 1.5 equal to 0.9 md. From the table, the couple polygon has only one unknown. So I am going to draw couple polygon first. Couple polygon. From table, a equal to 0, b equal to 32.4 kg meter square. Move the line OB from angular diagram to couple polygon and mark it as OB. Assume 32.4 kg meter square as 3.24 cm. I can't draw 32.4 kg meter square on A4 sheet. So I am assuming this scale factor. 
32.4 kg meter square equal to 3.24 centimeter from that 1 centimeter equal to 32.4 over 3.24 equal to 10 kg meter square from that 1 kg meter square equal to 1 over 10 equal to 0.1 centimeter move the line oz from angular diagram to triple polygon from the table c equal to 89.1 kg meter square c equal to 89.1 multiplied by a scale factor of 0.1 equal to 8.91 centimeter so the length of the line oc is 8.91 centimeter now close the polygon co the length of the line co is 9.45 centimeter from the table d equal to 0.9 md so 0.9 md equal to 9.45 centimeter again 1 centimeter equal to 10 kg meter square so 9.45 multiplied by 10 equal to 94.5 kg meter square 0.9 md equal to 94.5 kg meter square from that md equal to 94.5 over 0.9 which is equal to 105 kg move the line oc from couple polygon to angular diagram the orientation of mass d is 250 degree from mass b force polygon in the table 0.9 md equal to 0.9 multiplied by 105 equal to 94.5 kg meter a equal to 0.6 ma which is unknown so i can't draw that value b equal to 81 kg meter move line ob from angular diagram to force polygon assume ob as 8.1 centimeter the scale factor says that 81 kg meter equal to 8.1 centimeter from that 1 centimeter equal to 10 kg meter again 1 kg meter equal to 1 over 10.1 centimeter from the table c equal to 81 kg meter move the line oc from angular diagram to force polygon that length of the line oc is 81 multiplied by a scale factor of 0.1 centimeter which is equal to 8.1 centimeter from table d equal to 94.5 kg meter move the line od from angular diagram to force polygon the length of the line oc is 94.5 multiplied by the scale factor of 0.1 centimeter equal to 9.45 centimeter now close the polygon do which is equal to 0.6 ma the length of do is 6.3 centimeter finally 0.6 ma equal to 6.3 centimeter the scale factor of 1 centimeter equal to 10 kg meters so multiply 6.3 by 10 which will give you 63 kg meter from that ma equal to 63 over 0.6 which is equal to 105 kg move the line od from force polygon to angular diagram orientation of mass a is 200 degree from mass b Finally, I am going to calculate hammer blow tractive force swaying couple. The balancing mass is 105 kg. From that, we can find balancing of rotating mass P, balancing of reciprocating mass P. Rotating mass equal to 58.3 kg, reciprocating mass is equal to 46.6 kg. Hammer blow H equal to v omega square v v equal to 46.6 omega equal to 31.42 v equal to 0.6 when you multiply these parameter you will get 27,602 newton tractive force t equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 
1 minus c m 2 omega square r c equal to 2 by 3 m 2 equal to 180 omega 31.42 or 0.3 multiply these parameter you will get t equal to 25127 newton swaying couple s equal to a of 1 minus c divided by square root of 2 multiplied by m2 omega square r a equal to 0.7 c equal to 2 by 3 m2 180 omega 31.42 or equal to 0.3 then substitute these parameter and multiply these parameter finally you will get s equal to 8797 newton meter